Hello, my name is Christian Quintero, and I will talk about our work, Evaluation of Oxacin as a Potential Treatment for Gonorrhea. Why we are studying gonorrhea? Gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted disease caused by the gram-negative bacteria, Neisseria gonorrhea. In the last few years, there was an increase of the contagion of this disease. In fact, the World Health Organization estimated 82 million of new infections with gonorrhea just in 2020 all around the world. Neisseria gonorrhea also have generated resistance to the current treatments with all the antibiotics that we are using to treat the disease. Neisseria gonorrhea has mm, generated resistance to them with different kind of strains and mechanisms. In 2017 and in 2024, the same who included gonorrhea as one of the 12 priority bacteria for finding effective treatments. In this sense, we decide to look for new treatment for this uh, disease. In one hand, we have cyclic molecule as oxacins and their uh, derivative that have been shown to have antibacterial, antiparasitic, and antifungic activity. Also, there is a second source of potential treatment that we are uh, looking for and is based in plant extract. More precisely, we are looking for byproduct of wine industry from uh, the branches of this plant because there are some works that show that resveratrol is active against the bacteria. Our main objective is to determine the antibacterial activity of the oxacins and their related molecule, either isolated or supplemented in the usual antibiotics to prove their uh, adjuvant activity. How we do that? We do micro diffusion tests where we prepare the culture of the Neisseria gonorrhea, and also we are using E. coli and salmonella as a control. Then in parallel, we prepare our uh, inhibition disc with the extract solution or with the solution of the molecules, and then we put it in the bacterial culture. This is incubated at 37 degrees. And after 24 hours, we observe the growth pattern of the different bacteria. What we found? At the beginning, we didn't found any compound that they have, they show antibacterial activity by themselves. In this case, we move forward looking for adjuvant activity where we supplemented the normal treatment for this bacteria with the molecules. And we found several molecules that show antibacterial activity as adjuvant for the canamycin, specifically for salmonella. In the other hand, we found two molecules that have this same adjuvant activity against different strains of Neisseria gonorrhea. In this case, we found the molecules that are uh, adjuvant for streptomycin and penicillin. Our first result suggests that this is not dependent of the dose and they are exclusively affecting the growth of Neisseria gonorrhea, but not for Salmonella. Our conclusions are that 
we found two molecules, 807 and 808, that are promising adjuvant candidate for the current treatment. This reduction in the dosage of the antibiotics could play a critical role in minimizing the development of antibiotic resistance. In the same sense, we found several molecules that can be adjuvant for Salmonella enterica with canamycin. In resume, we have shown that oxacin derivative are promising family of molecules that can be used for treatment bacterial infection. We would like to thank to Universidad Massa and Universidad de Mendoza for their grants, also to Stella Calpre and Dr. Patricia Galarza for their contribution in our work. We did this work in Laboratorio de Biología Celular y Molecular from Universidad Massa and in Biomed from Universidad de Mendoza. We have the contribution of El Instituto de Investigaciones en Fisicoquímica de Córdoba from the Facultad de Ciencias Químicas.